Uh, I got too many games, I gotta try them all. This is my first impression backlog of Death March. Here we've got 2064 Read Only Memories. So, see what this is all about. So, really, all I've seen of this one is the aesthetic. I do really like the aesthetic. It's kind of a steampunky 8 bitty type thing, but, uh, honestly, not really sure at all. What all the game is about, so. Ooh, game. Meat boss. Neo San Francisco, 2064 AD. The world thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. New Digging this dude's voice. Into virtual worlds but recently, to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain to machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets, looking less human every day. However, some can't keep up with the fast-paced changes around them. They say that ROMs, now commonplace thanks to Parallax, are leading humans to a place where we can never come back, losing the survival skills that we have relied on for millennia. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite the marketing hype, at their core, they are only brainless machines. Organizations, like the Human Revolution, seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. High above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further. And with this, humanity's destiny will be altered forever. Okay. A new cyberpunk adventure. Not one of those old ones. What am I skipping? Is it just gonna play that over again? Oh well. Prologu. Home sweet home. Okay. To do, 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 do. Okay, maybe not so sweet. Musty might be a better descriptor. Alright, now I can click on stuff. Lappy. Alright, so uh, typical old schooly adventure type stuff. Pretty neat. Talk to it. Alright, let's use Lappy. Live Intelligence Processing System. Uh, I think that might be a trademarked uh, symbol right there, but whatever. Inbox. <laughs> right, let's see my emails. Spam, spam, spam. Bill. Okay.
Yep, absolutely nothing can go wrong here. Uh oh. Alright, let's. Neat. Alright, so this looks like it's very much a slow burn, kind of a lot of reason, reading, I think. Yeah, that's all of us. Surely it is not. such lengthy sleep cycles, it seems rather inconvenient. 
Are you significantly opposed to cybernetic augments? <laughs> what the hecky? Oh, I hope you don't mind. While you were asleep, I had some spare time on my hands, so I've reorganized your records and entertainment media using Vizac. Oh, so that's why they need to leave you the piece done, of paper on the floor. I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for the long-term performance of my microactuators. So I took the liberty of cleaning the place up a bit. As you awoke, I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer. But I've, uh, run into a bit of a snag. Unfortunately, your motherboard seems to have had a critical failure while I was attempting to remove some particularly nasty malware. <laughs> An electrical surge caused significant damage to several other components as well. I would consider it no great loss, though. Why were you using that dinosaur to begin with? Hmm. Don't fret! I did manage to back up your data drive's contents on my storage before the crash. Additionally, I am willing to serve as your personal computer until you can procure a replacement or provide the parts necessary for me to make the repairs. It is the least I can do. Okay... Trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, but I tend to ramble on a bit when I'm nervous. I have all the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. I don't really know. That's why I'm here. Help dun, dun, dun. You aren't quite my only hope, but you're certainly the most statistically supported. Okay. The beginning. Okay, yes, I can do that. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some persons unknown to me. He seemed frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape. I crawled out of a window, and after some deliberation, hurried here. I heard them breaking down the door as I left. He is one of the top researchers at Parallax, but there's no way that alone would be enough to get him kidnapped. I suspect it has to do with me. Dun dun dun. Excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. I've never had the pleasure of doing so before. I am Turing. Ah, uh, probably named after Alan Turing, I, I assume. I know this must sound quite unflattering, but I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. He's currently researching advanced machine intelligence at Parallax. I am a personal side project of his. Okay. Exploring true artificial sapience. It's possible that the idea of a sapient machine could scare or tempt an organization into kidnapping him. Either to stop his research or to take it and use it for themselves. So chatty indeed. A regular ROM has virtual intelligence. I've got real smart, intelligence. Human seeming when you talk to them. But they're just cleverly programmed to respond to a variety of situations in an organic manner. They aren't in any way self-deterministic. As for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, 
but rather compiled during my infancy as I learned to interact with the world around me. Okay. But despite my ability to self-modify my code, I am afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. Did he only program me with the illusion of free will? How would you? Hayden once told me that his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out. But I can't say I have any new insight into the question. How can any of us tell that we aren't just puppets dancing to someone else's will? Aren't we all just machines? I ran an algorithm against every contact in Hayden's address book. Based on the combined deductions of personal profile, directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable motive, you were the candidate most likely to both be able and willing to help me, and the one least likely to be suspected of doing so. The numbers don't lie about your investigative skills, but I will admit your total lack of recent successes is worrisome. Oh, well, thank you. Don't worry. If Hayden trusted you, I trust you. You're strong-willed and capable. If anything, it's worth trying for Hayden. I don't know. I'm not certain who would benefit the most from taking Hayden prisoner. Admittedly, Hayden has become increasingly paranoid as of late, and has warned me to stay alert. But he would never specify anyone I should fear when I asked. It's not as though he has any obvious enemies. There are several multinational corporations that could make use of his engineering skills. But I can't imagine any of them would go as far as snatching him. Okay, let's Indeed, go. Time is of the essence. I took the liberty of charging the auto cab fare from here to Hayden's apartment to your personal finance account, and the car has just arrived. <laughs> Yeah, I'm totally broke. Okay, yeah, this is a good place to call it. So it seems pretty interesting. The voice acting is pretty good. I like the aesthetic. I like the uh, setting. It's pretty neat. The old school uh, controls seem pretty good. I like that it kind of puts a border around everything that you can actually interact with. So that you're not, you know, trying to look for, like, micro pixels or whatever to click on. It also kind of helps because it's since it's so low res, you might might be tough to actually you know, make out what it something is. So yeah, overall it seems pretty nice. Uh, I'm not sure when I might get around to playing this, but it definitely is something that I can probably sit down and play my way through. It certainly seems interesting enough. So maybe in the lead up to hmm, yeah go to avoid uh, mentioning other games here but uh yeah uh generally seems pretty okay i suppose uh once you get deeper into the plot things might is where it's really going to kind of shine or shine or not so yep there we go read only memories till next time alita